be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings of arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream. Ay, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, where dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? Your oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy it takes. When he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin, who would for Dale's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we not know of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with pale cast of thought, an enterprise of great pitch and moment. With this regard, their currents turn awry, and lose the name of action. Soft you now, that fair Ophelia, nymph in thy horizons, be all my sins, 